My name is Anthony Chen. I am a writer, director, filmmaker. Um, I was invited to the Griffith Film School, you know, to do a class and, uh, and a screen of my film. And at the same time, you know, I had the pleasure of watching for the first time graduation films uh, from the school. Uh, this is very exciting for me because this is the first time I've watched graduation films from any school in Australia. Um, as you're hearing this, you know, I'm not physically around, you know, in the country because uh, I will be actually in Taiwan uh, for the Golden Horse Awards. That's uh, the version of the Oscars for Chinese-speaking people around the world. Um, I, I would like to share some of my thoughts on the films that I saw. I thought that uh, the graduating films this year were by far all technically competent. I think uh, they were well shot. Uh, the sound mixes uh, were great. So technically, you know, they were very, very uh, assured uh, pieces put together. But I think it's important to remember that um, the heart of filmmaking, sometimes it's not just about playing with visual ideas, but it's as important uh, the heart of storytelling, it's about what you are saying with the film. And, and I, I always believe that I eventually a film connects when it has uh, some form of emotional truth. Um, with that in my head, you know, instead of awarding a highest achievement uh, to one particular film, um, I've made a decision to actually award two special distinctions. Uh, the first one to the film Home. Um, it is uh, a complex story, you know, with multiple characters. There are some very fine performances, particularly with uh, the pregnant girl and um, her boyfriend. And, you know, it's, it's a very finely taught structure. I, I would wish that, you know, it, it was uh, a bit stronger in the ending, you know, it started to dwarf into, you know, um, a kind of um, simplistic perspective and it became a little bit too sentimental. Uh, but there were, there, there were many merits in this film. The second special distinction is awarded to the film Jack Rabbit. Um, the film had some uh, very, very interesting and well-executed visuals. Um, the start was particularly strong in this film. And I would say, you know, it was a very uh, ambitious uh, take on a very difficult subject of domestic violence as well. Uh, we saw some very wonderful uh, child performances, particularly in the child actor. Um, I felt that some of the dialogue um, probably could be held back much more because it's too much written on the nose. I think it's important to remember that a lot of times the motivation should be in the subtext. The motivations uh, of a character shouldn't be spoken uh, because that would be a bit too much in your face. Um, just to round it off, I think, I think this is a very, very fine school with a lot of possibilities because it has some of the, the best resources, uh, the best equipment, and some uh, very qualified teaching faculty. Um, I think the core of filmmaking, just like with literature, you know, if you want to be a good writer, uh, you need to read books. And it's the same with film. You know, if you want to make great cinema, it's important to watch a lot of, lot of films. You know, I make it a point now, actually, to watch at least three films a week, you know, even though um, you know, I've made a lot of short films, I've made my feature film, I've made a, a, a rather successful feature film, but I think it's very important to keep growing. There isn't an end point for a filmmaker. You have to keep growing. Uh, you, you have to keep inspiring yourself and nurturing yourself because um, you feed on these things. So go watch cinema, watch more cinema, and I can't... Uh, I can't say more. Um, you, you just have to watch films. Yeah.